Okay, we should be live again. Welcome everybody. I see there's two people waiting already, so thank you very much for uh, being here. I can see I'm very delayed and making very awkward faces again. I, I need to actually sit down and like time how long it takes to kick in, but there we go. Um, we're playing Planet Zoo again today. Now today, we're going to be beginning the franchise mode. We've, we did some of the career um, scenarios. We did the ones that said tutorial on them, the first three. The rest don't seem to say that, so I'm hoping... We can sort of understand what we're doing. If I have to go back to the missions, I'll have to do it. But yeah, we're going to have a go at franchise mode. Now, uh, we we earned some money already. That's nice. Now, we do have George's Zoo here. Um, can I continue? Okay, there's just a dodgy fence in there, but we can close that. You, you can't revert this. You will lose the cash. Okay, well, there's nothing in it, but I will start a new zoo. Um, I think, yeah, I have 300 of these leaf points, so we should be okay to get started. That's uh, That's fine. So we'll do that. Um, in terms of biome, I have no idea if anyone wants to throw in a suggestion. Desert, probably not. But I am think grassland we could do. We could try tropical or temperate. I feel like I don't want to go snow or desert too much. I want to keep it open. You can always put the snow and stuff in the cages or in the enclosures. Not cages. Um, but yeah, we can go whatever. I think my other zoo is this one here in Spain. Which I just put down. But you can put the zoo wherever we want as well. I'm gonna go for a gonna go for a temperate zoo. Europe, North America, Asia. We will go in Europe and we will it doesn't let me pick where in Europe. Okay. Uh we'll go medium difficulty. We don't want it easy, but I I don't want to go on hard either. And we'll call it GeoZoo. Actually GeoZoo, is that yeah, GeoZoo. We'll we'll, we'll just call it GeoZoo. There we go. Can we... Is there, like, a pun there? Is there a play on words? Can I get something out of that? I don't think so. We'll just call it GeoZoo. Um, it still sounds kind of, It sounds like a franchise. Like, a G, I don't know, a GeoZoo. Kind of sounds like more of a franchise, but obviously... There you go. Whatever. We are playing the franchise mode, so it's kind of sandbox, but it is... We do have a money limit. We have $40,000 here. Is it dollars? Yeah, it, it, it is in dollars. Um, there you go. We can set the zoo opening time. It looks like it's in Poland or Belarus. Yeah, it could be anywhere. Did it? Did it show on the map? I don't know. This could be. This could be England as well, to be honest. Like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably a lot of places in Europe. It could be. I'm guessing there's parts of France and Germany that look like this. Yeah, it could be anywhere really. But yeah, we we can go. Well, I don't know. Did it show on the map? I might have missed that. But whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Right. When I tried to play this by myself before I did those streams of the tutorial. I couldn't find how to build paths, but here is a nice button in the bottom right corner for paths. So, we can build a nice path to enter the zoo. Now, I think we should pick a nice colour scheme and stick to it for the paths. I think that's always a good idea. A Q? Wait, what is this a Q? Bricked Q path. What would be the different? A staff path. Oh, okay, so that's pretty interesting. Um, log path. That looks quite nice. Log rounds path. It's, they all cost the same? Uh, yeah, they all cost the same, so we can really go with any colour scheme uh, we want. So, I'm going to pick one I like and just stick with it, really. Uh, mosaic, bamboo, curb markers, what is this? Hexagon stone. That looks quite nice, to be honest. Oh, I like that. Oh, you can see what they look like a bit better. That's quite nice. What does this look like? Uh, oh, this is just using the natural grass. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. Just sort of walking over the grass with like a curbed railing. Ooh, that's a bit spooky. I feel like that's a bit extra. That should be inside, not outside. Parquet path. That looks like it's indoor in some sort of hall. Wood. I like the wood, even though it does seem like it would be very expensive and wasteful to build the whole path out of wood or like these trees. I really like these trees. Tree stumps. Tree bark. I mean, that's like the most realistic, isn't it? Tree bark or just asphalt. I mean, asphalt's a bit boring, isn't it? Beach wood, that could be nice. Brick, I mean, that could be not. Nice. There's so many options here. I'm gonna really struggle. I want to be nice. I want to make a nice zoo. I, I'm, I'm gonna try and make this just in case I don't do a city skylines mega city because that video somehow seems to have blown up and I didn't notice and I only ever made one episode and I feel terrible about it. But you know, there's enough dislikes and I get enough mean comments on it, so it's okay. Um, I really want to focus on making this a really nice looking zoo. So there we go. We'll build our entrance path. We'll have it coming in a little bit just so I can have like a... I want to have quite a... Okay, is there a way I can bend this in the other direction? 
I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, align to grid. I kind of want it to curve in the other direction. A path made out of tree bark. Um, well, I don't know if it's... It's probably not tree bark. That's a bit wasteful. But in the UK, definitely it's a thing, I think. they You'll have places like parks might have little bits of like wood chippings on the floor. It's probably not like actual wood. I, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like that. Like on like in play areas and stuff to like keep kids safe. I don't, I don't know how wood is safe, by the way, compared to like the rubber. This is not going to make a nice circle at all. That was what I was going for. It looks gross, but basically what this will be... That is actually disgusting, but there is no, there's no like, um, there's no sort of templates to build from, you know, I've just got to do it by myself. Um, but it's kind of okay, I don't want it to be like a complete square zoo. That's something actually when I'm building in city skylines, I always end up building squares and straight lines, which is, I guess, more American. There's a lot of American towns, I guess, that are like that, roads are more squares and in blocks. But in the UK, everything is just, like, randomly squeezed in so that it actually fits in. It's very different. So, yeah, I, I you know, it doesn't look perfect, but it, it, it will do. I'm going to just, you know, build off it in random shapes anyway. You know, that's my plan. There's no, like, I don't want it to, like, look like a circle or anything or spread out in a certain direction. I just want to do whatever I want. So, we've got the game paused. I probably want to build a couple of enclosures and get all the vet stuff we need set up. So, that's what we want to do first. Now with the vet stuff, I think all the vet stuff, you know, all the animal management sort of stuff, I want to have a separate area for that that is um, kept a little bit private. And actually we want to do that. How does this work? Oh, okay. I'm not sure about this tool, but I guess it worked. Um, I was, that looked a bit funny way of doing it. But we're going to use the staff path feature. That was not... Oh, no, I don't want to delete that path. No. Come back. There we go. Okay, it's very easy. It seems like it knows... Very intuitive thinking. It's, it's almost like it knows what you're thinking of doing with it. Um, but yeah, let's have the staff path like come out this way and along. Don't is there a limit here that I can't see? Is there like an invisible wall? Where's the limit to my zoo? I mean, the line goes all the way out here, so I assume I can go anywhere. Um, why is it trying to do this? I don't want to go there. Yes. No. I do want to go there, but I don't want to go to this next part. There we go. Um, that's very weird. Maybe you can't build this path so far. This is going to be a great episode, isn't it? I'm just going to be building paths, basically. Um, here we go. But this is just where we can put all the vet stuff. Obviously, the power has to be more spread out. But, you know, we can put all of the animal management-y kind of facilities along there. In fact, I can't even buy animals or stuff yet just yet. But yeah, we need staff alerts, so this is what we need first. So let's handle these things, and that's what I'm planning to put along this road here. So we need a trade center immediately. Okay, so facilities, um, small animal exhibits, guest staff facilities, right. Animal trade center, there we go. Right, how, how do you rotate again? I've forgotten, it's been a week. There we go, Zed. Boom. We need a workshop as well. Where is, can, you can search these things. Workshop. What's the difference? Planet Zoo workshop or the normal workshop? Th the City Skylines video was a hoot as well. I mean, I don't think... I don't know if you mean the one where I tried to build the Mega City, though. That was that was a disaster. And, but it is currently about half of my views. So I'm sort of... It's a bad disaster. But there you go. We're sort of stuck with it. Hasn't mastered the YouTube title formula yet. Nope. I have not. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to work on it. This year, you're going to start seeing some thumbnails. Probably on the videos, the thumbnails I'm going to try work on. Making them unique to the episode. And also, the titles might start having stuff in now that I'm doing longer ones. It's just I've always done... Like, I used to... Like, last summer, I was doing four, four videos a day that were 15 minutes. So, the videos weren't long enough to have their own titles. And then... You want to do at least six meter paths for public, the public to prevent congestion. Ah, thank you. How do I... <laughs> to be honest, it was hard enough to find the paths. Um, length, is that this? No, length, two, no. How do I... Oh, width. Ah, I see. Thank you very much. I do see that button. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Um, can I... Will it let me widen this naturally? No. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll change this back. But let's keep adding these other things we need. So I get started. So we do need a quarantine. Um, let's just... I think if we just search for things, it'll probably be quicker. Once I know what they look like, it might get easier. 
Is there any benefit to the Planet Zoo ones, or do they just look nicer? I think they just look nicer and are more expensive. Let's get a normal looking quarantine. It doesn't have to be all jazzy. Right, here we go. There we go. Nope, why did it turn again? No, it didn't. Okay, it didn't turn. We need a star for them. Of course they do. Oh, it's here. Everything's here. Wait, okay. But if I unsearch. Uh, again, staff, they don't need anything special. Come on, we are going to be the ultimate capitalist zoo here. Um, research center, we'll get a nice research center. There we go. Uh, keeper hut, everything is here nice and easy to find, actually. And a vet surgery, I couldn't see keeper hut. We'll get a nice, actually, these are getting quite expensive. This game reminds me of Roblox Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Interesting. There's a lot you can do in Roblox, isn't there? I've never never played it, but I'm guessing there's quite a bit you can do. Right, there we go. That's every building. So we can hire some staff now. We're already down to 24,000. We're not even able to afford any animals. Uh, <laughs> I'll try my best. Um, we'll probably just have to build our first enclosure really close so we don't run out of space. But right, what do I need to do now? I probably need staff, right? What sort of staff can we get? And then we'll spend the rest on our first enclosure. What are, we, what are we definitely going to need? I'm just trying to think. What are people like? We need a zookeeper, right? Hire a keeper. There you go. Just drop it. Wait, he's floating. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yep, they're fine. Okay, they, they were meant to be in the air. I often tell my friends and family they're... Oh, well, there you go. If, if that, that's... it's There you go. If that's what they remind you of, then go with it. Uh, caretaker? Yeah, we'll get one of those. I'm hoping these are not too expensive. Mechanic, yes, we'll get one of those. Um, security, yeah, okay, one security guard won't hurt anyone. A vendor, I assume they work in the shops, right? That we haven't built yet, but so we'll leave that. We will get a vet right off the bat. And what was the other one? What is the other thing? An educator. Uh, we'll leave, skip that out for now, just in case we don't have enough money here. Um, and right, time to pick, I guess we want to pick the first animal as well, right? Before people actually come to visit. Is there anything else we... Uh, am I forgetting? We do need power. Um, that's a big one. We can't afford the monorail just yet. We will need some ele utilities, yes. So we will need a transformer. Here. There we go. And uh, what is this? Water temperature regulator, water treatment. I'm guessing we need both of those as well. But I don't think they were in the tutorial missions. So I might be wrong. But we'll grab one of each just in case. Um, were they supposed to connect to paths? Am I going crazy? Now this is going to annoy me because these paths will be... Yeah, let me go back to 4 meters quickly to finish these worker paths. And then we'll put the rest back to 6 meters. Is that not connected to a path? Maybe it isn't. Hopefully it's fine. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. You guys are pretty knowledgeable about everything. Normally, anyway. Uh, right, let's build an enclosure. Do we want one? Should we just have one right in the middle? No, I think this should be in the middle here will be like the shops and the, the food, that sort of stuff. I think we should have a first little bit of a path coming off. Um, is there any way? Oh, sorry, I did not even realize you can't see anything. I'm happy to move the camera. Let me just get that up, and yeah, we'll move that. Um, hang on, if I get if you give me a sec, I can get this chat on the other side so then I can see where's a good place. Um, I'll put it in the top right corner over the settings button. I think, will that be the best? Or we could put it, I guess you just put it to the side somewhere, or top middle. If any suggestions? Um, will be, yeah, wherever you think's best. Um, probably top right. It's the usual place. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't even realise it covered it up. I think I just copied one of my settings for another game. That was why. Sorry about that. But yeah, hopefully that's better. Um, I can see now it's a, the, my delayed camera is just me like being moved around. Um, Yep, top right works well. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Ranger. And anyone else, if you do have any feedback at any point, I would really love to have it, to be honest. So thank you. Why is my game frozen? Oh, we weren't clicked into it. Right. Okay, let's go build our first enclosure so when people come to this zoo, they're not disappointed. Now, I don't know how much money I need to spend here. I'm trying not to go bankrupt immediately. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just played a couple of missions. Geo doesn't just move his face cam for anyone. I do, to be honest. Um... Yep, it will just move it around. Maybe I can find something that like just moves it around all, all the time. But yeah, sorry about that, that you couldn't see the money. That will help you help me, mainly. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for spotting that. Um, yeah, thank you. 
Uh, barriers, habitat. What am I looking for? I'm looking for paths again. That el elusive paths button. Right, let's up it to six meters. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, boom. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting I have to use different buttons. Right, where should we put the first enclosure? We'll put it up sort of this way a little bit. It's only costing me eighteen dollars. We'll put it like here. So here's going to be here. So we'll build a path around it so I can sort of mark. I don't know what animal's going to go in yet, so I won't do any more. Right, let's pick what animal it is. Um. We're in a temperate climate. We can probably have anything, although it's showing me... Okay, we can... Page one. How many pages? Okay, apparently we can only have elephants or llama. What? Is that right? What is this? Oh, apparently I bought a llama at some point. Um, I guess we'll have llamas then. <laughs> Just get a couple llamas. Um, is there not a way to see other animals? Is there? Is there a reason I'm restricted to these? Does anyone know? Um, is it to do with, do I have to unlock things, I'm guessing, research things maybe? I'm not really sure. But there we go, we have a llama here. I think I bought this in my other game that I never played, so we can, <laughs> we can, we can put the llama, we can build a llama habitat. So how do I find out what the llama actually wants? Where are you, llama? Can I click on you? Can I see your Zoopedia? Here we go. So what does a llama need, and how many llamas do we need? They're from, oh, there they are, South America. Filter. Um, oh, oh, can we filter? Oh, is it filtered onto something? I mean, we have a llama anyway, so I will probably stick with the llamas, but I'll reset all filters. Ah, okay, so we can have a lot more things. Fair enough. I bet there's a lot of pages now, though. A <laughs> um, lot of aardvarks at the start, of course. Um, they've all got names. That's cool. Um, we'll go with llamas, just because I've already got one, though. May as well not waste it while it's here. Um... Let's have a look. There's 7 million llamas in the wild, and they're domesticated. I mean, yeah, I guess. They're like horses, aren't they, really? Um, from South America, but they can survive in a temperate biome, which is good. That's what we have gone for. So they need 550 meters squared. No climbing equipment, no water, no deep water. 5 to 40 degrees. This sounds like the perfect animal for, our, for my first animal, actually. Really easy, you know. We just need to give it a lot of land. And uh, some grade 4 over 2 meter fences. Um, does it say group size? You can have up 2 to 30. So we can just... And guests can go in with the llamas. I mean, I'm probably not... I don't even know how to set that up yet. But there you go. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I'd like to go in with the llama. Seems fun. Um, right, so let's build the barriers. What do we need? We need a grade 4. So, oh yeah, you lift it up, don't you? I do remember. We want people to be able to see through it. Do we want it to be... Yeah, it needs to still be quite high, doesn't it? Feels quite weird. Surely glass is like the only option. How else on earth are you going to see through it all? Well, I guess it doesn't all have to be visible. I guess, but yeah, we will do glass, I think. What is null? Where a barrier isn't needed. Okay. Okay, we do need a barrier. Right, here we go. Let's try and... I want to try and make this somewhat nice, but yeah, it doesn't have to look... I'm not, not a complete perfectionist, as you guys have probably learned from watching my other Let's Plays. We can, as long as it's sort of semi-close to following the path, I don't really mind. And we are going to have to lift it up a little bit more. I think it said it had to be over two meters. I mean, it seemed like it only just had to be over two meters, but there we go. Right, I'm I'm also going for a complete guess as to how big the how big 550 meters squared is. I think I tried to guess when playing that tutorial, and I got it really wrong. So it's not a disaster, to be honest. Right. No, I don't want to edit the barrier. I want to see the enclosures scores. Right, that's not how it works. Right, let's put a gate on it. Glass habitat gate. I think that... Does that make it into an enclosure? Yes, there we go. Uh, right, so this should tell me. 2,500... Okay, so there's more than enough space for the llamas. Yep, there we go. But that's fine. This can be a big llama enclosure. Um, we like... Uh, I think that's fine. Be nice to the llama. Uh, starting off with a llama zoo... It's certainly not a bad idea. Right, Mr. Llama, are you ready? Move into here. Okay, you're actually ready. I was not expecting that. Okay. So I assume you're going to show up when I hit play. And then we will add to your habitat, because I'm not a monster. Is anyone going to come and visit on day one? No. <laughs> I think the llamas are on their way, though. 
maybe one of these people is going to bring the box. They're all going. They're all going home. Yeah, this guy's bringing the llama. There we go. Um, but what we can do while we wait, zoo pause. I think we want to do some research. I mean, yeah, we're definitely going to lose money here. Total profit is negative. There is graphs, which is probably just going to be bad. Loans. Um, we probably don't want to take out a loan just yet. Could do some marketing. Should we do some marketing straight away? Some poster campaign. Thousand dollars for one year. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's see. Education, right? ATMs. We do need to get some stuff to help guests who come in. So do you have to? We have to research these. That's pretty cool. Oh, so there's a lot more things to unlock. Okay. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Oh, so this is how you get the stuff like the East Asia stuff. Oh hi Peter or Nupa, whatever you want me to uh, go with. <laughs> um, welcome. Um, so that's how you get all the Asian stuff and like the themed stuff. That's really cool. I mean, we probably won't use that. We might have a themed section of our zoo, but ours is going to be like a more generic zoo, not specific to anything. Arctic themed zoo. That'd be really cool. Um, vet research. We probably want to research that. We have the vet, right? Oh wait, we may as well research that with the mechanic too. Make an arctic themed llama only zoo in a temperate climate. That is, that's what we're going for. That is it. Um, in terms of our first mechanic research, like I said, I'm probably not going to go one of the themes, although there is kind of quite a few cool ones here. I'm probably going to head and just start, oh, aquatic themes, pretty cool. Um, I might just research something basic and boring. I know, like staff facilities or barriers, just something interesting, you know, that can help the zoo. Power. Habitats could be, oh yeah, this research, ha habitat blueprints. Oh, so this unlocks blueprints. That's pretty cool. No mechanic. Ooh, how do I assign? Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Oh, there we go, that worked. Right, and on to vet research. I mean, we can deal with, did the vets just research diseases? Yes, okay. Um, there's no way to really know which disease we're gonna need to do so I'll just pick one at random for now I guess um, classic swipe there's no like llama fever is there so cowpox that's really bad isn't it cowpox oh no that's smallpox but aren't they the same thing I can't remember maybe they're not the same thing rotavirus FIP MRS these all sound horrible I have no idea what most of them are but tetanus I know what that is Nile crocodile pox virus. That just sounds. If it's named after a crocodile, it can't be good. <laughs> Glanders. That sounds a little bit. I don't know what that could be, but that sounds a bit dodgy. Salmonellosis. Yep. Um, hepatitis A. That does not sound good. Testinid herpes viruses. There you go. Let's uh, cure our animals of herpes. Q fever. Ulcerative hey, there's a lot here. Let, let's go with monkey pox. I, I have no idea if llamas can catch monkey pox, but there we go. We've got to pick one. I have no idea if llamas can actually catch any of them. Okay, right. I'm just going to let the llama into the zoo. Cowpox is similar enough to smallpox. Oh, yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? They, they injected people with cowpox, and that's how they discovered the vaccine, or well, how vaccines work, and smallpox. I think that's what it is. They are sort of linked, but they're not the same. Right, this llama's gonna be very unhappy. Oh, there's people coming in, or you work? Do you work here? Please, please. Who are you? I mean, what is that? That face is scary. That is a zookeeper. Okay, and I think this is the security guard. Um, well, I tried. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if there's night times and stuff in this game, or like a day night. Oh, there is a day sort of going by there. I, I used to play so much Zoo Tycoon many years ago. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Um, also, next time I'll probably turn up the settings because I did look in uh, NVIDIA and it said I can play this game on much you know higher visual settings. I don't know how high it goes. But this is a very, very nice looking llama. Welcome to the zoo. We will get you some friends in just a moment. Don't worry. You're not going to be alone forever. Right. What What terrain do you need? Llama, and what are you called as well? Kwamia, that's a great name for a llama. Right, enrichment, actually the nutrition, social, the habitat is perfect. They just love lots of long grass apparently. Um, they would like a bit more short grass, so that's, um, let's put that in the entrance. Up that. Zoo Tycoon was my favourite game 
I, did, I never knew what to do, so I committed a lot of virtual animal abuse. Yeah, I, lo I really used to play it a lot, um, the old one. But this is a lot more complicated. Um, I feel like you can't, like, scrape by on Planet Zoo. Like you could on Zoo Tycoon. Um, you know, on Zoo Tycoon, you could just kind of wing it. And even if your zoo was actually, you know, theoretically terrible, it didn't matter too much. But, yeah, Planet, Planet Zoo, it feels like you do have to have some element. There's a zoo inspector. And there you go. As you can see, this habitat is massive. It was... We need to gauge the distances, but it doesn't tell... There's no way to know while I'm building it. Um, it, There is... I think I can lift up the hills a little bit. I... <laughs> I don't really want to build... Just stick a pyramid. Um, Is there not a way to just like... I just want to raise a little bit up. Water. Sculpting. Here we go. We can pull bits up, I guess. Does it say anywhere? they want any of that sort of stuff it doesn't say but i do agree i want to make it look a bit nicer um size oh this is just the, the llama we have apparently they're not very immune <laughs> not longevity not a good size hey i don't care you're you're our llama i'm happy to have you welcome to the zoo you're you're my favorite welcome just staring up at the sky at least you're not going to spit on me like the llamas in Minecraft. That that's 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 enough for me. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. Right here we go. We can we can lift up some, make some raised sort of hills, bring the land up a little bit. This is kind of cool, you know. Can I just keep lifting it up? How high can we make this area? Let's give them a big area up here in this corner. I'm gonna have to lift the fences really high though. I mean, how that I, you can't really tell. Like that is not that big from the ground. It looks quite tall. There you go. That's it. When you want to get it to the point where rocks start popping up, we have to lift the barrier up a lot, though. Um, but here you go. Let's really start to drag. This is very weird. <laughs> I wish there was like a way to do it in bulk, but there you go. I kind of, I feel like doing it by sort of just by eye and natural is kind of better, though. It it feels very natural almost. Pulling the ground up, dragging it along, giving the llamas somewhere to go climb. I want to give them like one really high spot, but let's make it in the middle so that they don't jump out. Like this. Go on, let's make this like a full on place where they can go and stand up at the top of the cliff. Yeah, look at this. What are these other tools? Push it down, flatten, flatten. Rough and smooth. Okay, that's a bit complicated. Let's leave those for another day. That's a bit too tall. Sorry, dude. Ah, go down. Please go down. Push tall. Push it down. Oh, this looks gross. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh, Do I reckon they can get up there? Maybe. Maybe they can find a way. Llamas are pretty inquisitive. There you go. There's some mountains for them to play on. That was quite difficult. This is free. Well, that's good news. I thought that was going to be really expensive. Um... So, good job it's free. Um, okay, right. Llama, you did want some food enrichment. I think I need to research that, actually. So, I might go change what I put as research. There's now not enough short grass. Oh, some of it might have got destroyed. Sorry. Uh, whoop. Terrain. Painting. Here we go. We'll give you some more. Look. Here you go. There's, you've got way too much long grass anyway. So, there you go. That is enough. Give you some more. Look. Just to balance it out. Apparently, they don't need shelter. So, that's so... I, I don't know. Do you want shelter? You can have it if you want some. Um, right, enrichment items. Okay, I'm going to kind of have to guess, I think. Unless, is there a way to research? Mechanic research, vet research. Where is it? Is it keeper re Is there not a keeper research? Am I going crazy? I swear there was in the tutorial. Uh, I feel like I feel like the vets can do more. Is there, there must be something else we can research. Staff infrastructure. No. Um. Llama. Ah. Okay, now we've unlocked llamas. Okay, there we go. We'll go back and instead of doing the disease, we'll do llamas. Um, okay, I will give them some sort of enrichment, but I can't really guarantee it will be specific to llamas. So that's the only, only issue. Um, what do we got? Food and water. Uh, this is not enrichment, is it? No. Well, it is feeding. We do need water stations, though. Water bowl, uh, water pipe, what is this, water trough, I, I have no idea what llamas like. Oh, there is some tags. Uh, 
If I just search llama, <laughs> that can always work. How do you spell llama? If I spell llama and go on all, there you go. Cooler, food, I think the temperature will be fine. Five, minus five to 40 degrees. That is like, I don't know. The, I feel like the UK is temperate out of all the climates in this game. And the UK probably ranges from about five degrees, unless it gets, minus five, sorry, unless it gets really cold. Um, and I feel like 40 is the very peak. I think we've had that once. That was like this summer. It was the first time it actually hit 40, at least where I live, like ever. So there you go, climate change on the way. Uh, where is the small water troughs gone? Have I, have I missed them? Food. I see the food ones. Where the water one? There's a water pipe. I get. Oh, maybe the water pipes are more suitable for llamas. We'll give you two, because there's gonna be more than one of you. And here's some food troughs. Maybe we could put one up here. Make make you make you work for your food. You hide it away. Look. There we go. That can be a bit of fun for them. We can still give them a wooden shelter. It's only $140. <laughs> Some things must... Those keeper buildings were very expensive. But here you go. You can have a little wooden area. We want to give you some shelter and... I would say privacy, but there's just a glass wall behind you. Uh, habitat bedding. There you go. Have some bedding. That is not where I wanted to put that. <laughs> this game can be very literal with where it puts things. There we go. It's on top. Habitat bedding large. Okay, let's put that on top. That was a waste of the bottom one, but whatever. There we go. I like that. That works. There's somewhere for the llamas to uh, sleep. I think it is... Yes, it is slightly floating on top of the wood, but... It'll do. <laughs> I need to get rid of that bit that's on top of the tree. <laughs> right, bin. Okay, let, let's sort this out. No, bedding. Away. Off. I don't want to select all 16 objects. Save, enter group, edit. There we go, right, delete that. Is this on there, or is that also... It's kind of floating, but I don't think we're going to get any better than that. There we go. Okay, Llama. I'm going to hit play. Let's see what you do. Whoa, it's running. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to watch them in the cinematic mode, but I'm going to... Before we do that, just for fun... Um. Oh, it looks like some people visited our zoo. 18 people came in. There we go. The money started coming in. We're all good. Llama to the rest. Right, I'm going to go buy two llamas, though. What does it say? Water temperature regulator inaccessible. I knew that we had to build a path to those, and it wouldn't let me. Okay, I'll fix that. I like this. The notifications will guide us through this. I definitely need some notifications for this game um, to tell me what's going wrong. Right, animal market. Now I do need to filter again. Um, reset all filters. Not that I had any. Where, where can I filter things? Species. Is there a way to search? Oh, a gorilla. There's so many animals I want to have. I, I don't know how we're going to pick. Well, I guess I'm just going to probably try and add like one every hour or so. I don't know, half an hour. Where's llamas? There they are. Filter. Right, 17 of our planet zoo points, $200. Um, if you buy it with dollars, I know you cannot exchange it after adoption. Now, I'm probably not going to sell, get rid of my animals, so I'm happy to pay for them. We can sort by price. 10 Planet Zoo points. 1,000 Planet Zoo. I don't have that many Planet Zoo points. Um, we'll be, there's only 7 llamas available. I'm just going to... What does it say? Time? Is that time till what? Time for what? What is this time? 47 seconds. There was a 1 minute one. Um, okay, I'm just going to buy this one. Welcome. Frontier Zoo. So yeah, I think some of these animals are in other people's zoos. Yeah, look. F some random person's zoo. Which is probably why it's so expensive. Maybe it's a good llama. But yeah, I'm just going to take the free one that's built in. The cheaper one that's built into the game. Um, that was a male. I don't know what the one we have right now is. There's a lot of... There's not many female... Oh no, wait. We Did we just get a male? Yeah, we got a male. Should we get a female? Is that... They're going to breed, aren't they? Time they have left to live. Oh, I just bought one for 47 seconds. It's not good. I think this is the time they have left to live. I think this is how long it might take for them to be ready. I don't know. It doesn't load up with anything. Um, whatever. We will... Oh, no. That's 223... Why does it say... Oh, yeah. Dollars. There we go. Boom. If it's $200 for a llama, guys, I'm not saying anything. But on all the adverts you guys have watched, we could buy a llama. That That is what I'm going to say. Just a... Just, yeah. Yeah. We could buy a llama. 
So maybe that would be the way to get the channel really, really growing. If we just buy a llama. Um, could you, Matt, that would actually be so... Amazing. I don't get the quarantine. So have they been through it? Is that okay? Is it done? Because they're both here. I mean, I assume they just do it naturally, right? And they can just go in. Because there's no option to send to quarantine. So I'm going to move these llamas in. Um, what was our original llama? That is the big question. Were you a boy or a girl? Kwamia was a male. So we have two males and one female. So I'll try and make... I'll, I'll try to even out the numbers, you know. But there we go. Let's see. Um, now let's let some people come in. Hopefully we don't financially destroy the zoo on day one. The poster campaign seems to be working. Oh, I need to fix the water stuff as well. Um, 16284. Okay, we're losing 50, about $15 an hour or so. But that's not too bad. There is people just starting to come in. So that might be okay. Once there's three llamas up and running, I think we should be alright. Right, can I move this please? Oh, well, that works. That is not really where I wanted to put it, but I will take it. You know, if it works, it works. You can't... You can't hit Z on those. Oh, it just took it away from me. Move. How do I rotate this? No. Z. Everything else has been Z. You know what? I'm just going to cheat a little bit. Just show me somewhere where you'll put it on a path. Like, is that... That's still not accessible. Don't duplicate it. I don't want another one. Ah, go away. Move, duplicate, no. I just want to move it somewhere that's appropriate, please. Why is this so difficult? I, yeah, you can't spin these around. Why can't you spin these around? That doesn't make sense. Is there anywhere I can put this thing? I'm so lost. Where, where's it got to go? That must be fine, right? Like That is technically accessible. Right, if I just... Surely. Right, staff path. Quickly knock it back down to four meters. Come on. There we go. That is accessible. Okay, that is that was a real hassle, but it is accessible. Right now, how we I wish this whole game was about water heaters. Yeah, that's that's what we're going for. Right, there is one llama, two one that one's on the way. There's only one keeper, so we can't bring any more. Right, what I'm gonna do is put down some donation boxes. Because it seems like we're going to have money issues very quickly if I'm not careful. Um, do not disturb. Do not feed. Right, let's have a bin. We don't want. We don't want any dirt in our zoo. Off the bat, so let's get a bin. Um, and a, can they go off the? La I don't think they can go off the grass. We have to make a separate bench area. Um, that is not what I was trying to do at all. But we're we're here now. Transport media devices and education ambient speaker. Animal talk point, education board. I think you have to do research to do the education boards. So I'm just going to do the educational speaker for now and put it over here. And then there's a way to link it to the llamas. Now I think we have, do we have electricity over here? How does this all? Oh uh, yeah, this area is all covered, just about. So that's fine. Um... Okay, llamas. Right, what else we need? We need a donation box. That's what we need. Abandon strategy games. Convert this into a... To be honest, like if I had unlimited funds, I would probably start like a, just a Tiger King. I, I haven't seen Tiger King, but I get the premise that he has tigers at his house. Or you know, he has an emporium for tigers. It's not quite a zoo. I mean, I'd probably just do something like that. That would be fantastic content. Just live stream it 24-7. Just you can tune in. Like a, basically a virtual zoo. The, um, I would try to make it a friendly one though. You know, very ethical. It would be more, you know, animals that you can have at your house. I wouldn't have tigers and stuff. But, you know, we would have... You could have llamas, I think. There's actually a llama farm. Pretty near. I don't... Not... I think it's alpacas, which is similar to llamas. But there is like an alpaca farm near where I live. I don't know what they're farming alpacas for. I've never been. I assume... I assume that alpaca... Oh, the fence is actually not high enough. George, good spot. That was definitely all me. How do I raise the fence? Is it this one? 
Oh, I won't do everywhere. Please don't make me do every panel individually. Oh, this is painful. Is, it, is there not a way to get it all? Um, but yeah, there is an alpaca farm. Like I said, I don't know what they farm out, out of alpacas. I mean, it's not food. So, well, I hope not. Does that work? How do I... Oh, I have to click this the whole way around. Is there not like a shift click to get everything? No. Probably wool. Yeah, I'm guessing so. I'm guessing it's also just like a like an amusement thing. Like I'm, I've never, like I said, I haven't been to it, but I'm guessing that like children just visit it as well, like a zoo, a petting zoo kind of thing. <laughs> I'm guessing, right? And it's a bit of a weird animal just to have an alpaca farm. But, right, there we go. That works. So let's raise this up to like, I mean, four meters seems excessive, but I don't know. We'll, we don't want to lose our alpacas. They cost us a whole four hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could. Uh, I mean, I cannot have an animal channel. I'm sorry, but if one day, one day circumstances change, if enough of you subscribe, I will. Maybe we could get a channel pet. I mean, I got a ha we, my sister's got a hamster now, so that that is in the house. So we have a ha we have a, a a pet. So that's something. That's a starting point, right? We just need to move on from hamsters to bigger things. We'll try our best. Right, here we go. This is very... I'm sure there must be another way to do this. I think it's probably just... I'll, in future, I'll just remember to build it high enough in the first place. Wait, what? what why are you going up? I don't... Okay, I'll, I'll bring that one down separately. It's okay. Four meters... It's not quite four meters. Hopefully no one's going to get too annoyed about that. I tried my best. There we go. Job done. That looks just about okay. It's only like 0 0.1. Do you reckon they could jump that? Do you reckon these are some crazy alpacas? Do you reckon that's too low? I don't know how high alpacas can jump. I'm going to assume it's safe. Right, I just need to find this donation box. Now I'm thinking the money is it's going down, but I think it's going to... Going to go up soon. Most appealing, the llamas. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Things are looking good. I don't know if we want this marketing campaign on or not. Oh, we can up the ticket price. Maybe we we do that. Three dollars still for kids. Oh no. We'll do it. Six dollars for adults. No, no, we've gone the wrong way. Three dollars kids. Five for adults. There we go. Let's get an extra two dollars out of the adults. You leaving? You didn't even get to the llamas. Why are you leaving? Educational boards. I'm gonna try. Okay, there is people coming through the doors. Uh, 20. Okay, we're still losing about 15. But there we go. We have three llamas. This one looks very scary. Ooh. There we go. But there you go. They're here. They're, they're enjoying themselves. None of them have used the mountain yet. Do they have? Click on barrier and press the circle icon. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, circle. Where? where is, let me just check. Let me do it now so I know. Uh, edit barrier. Oh, I, does this do the whole thing? No, that doesn't do the whole thing. Circle button. That one. Oh, thank you. Also, what is this over here? Look at this. What is that? <laughs> nope. Okay, let's bring it all up just to five meters, just in case. I don't want them jumping out. But thank you for that. I'll now use that button every time. Thank you very much. Uh, drop down. Right. How do we make money, guys? Because this zoo is tanking already. I don't want to have to take out a loan. I'm. We'll just have to Google it. How do you make money in Planet Zoo? I do. I keep forgetting. Right. Facilities. Small. I thought the animal of England was the lion. <laughs> um. I mean, I guess. Okay. All right. A gift shop that should bring in some money, right? Toilet block. Okay. We do need toilets as well. They're two grand. Maybe they can just go outside. Five hundred dollars for a vending machine. Donation box. Bingo. Bingo. Donate to these um, beautiful llamas. Give them all your dollars. Please. Couple of donation boxes here for the llamas. Uh, yeah, I think the lion might... It's not really... I don't know. The, ink, the football team is the free lions, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the national animal is a lion. I might be wrong. Um, I've been asking around Windsor Park for years and there's never been a lion. <laughs> a badger. 
apparently, while wild story, someone at my there was a badger at my uh, university near where I go to university, and apparently it bit someone and started a rabies outbreak. I feel like the second half of that story might be pushing it, but <laughs> apparently it bit someone. So there you go. And then I I did see it sort of sadly dead in a bush, and it was there for a very long time. Poor badger. <laughs> but um, there you go. Right, I'm thinking we need a drink and a food shop. But this may also bankrupt us, so I'm slightly terrified about building these things. We could take out a loan. I mean, wouldn't hurt, right? There used to be lions in Mesopotamia, but the Assyrians hunted them to extinction. Oh my goodness. Did not know that. Um, I don't think there was ever lions in England, though. I feel like that might be pushing it. Maybe. What is this? A giant? What is that? It's called Mateo. I love these names. They're just normal names. Carla the snake. Ugh, spiders. Skip, skip, skip. More spiders. Go away. Ugh. Badger rabies crossed with corona equals zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure like half the UK uni universities in the UK, like at least, it just seems they all... Okay, we do need a vendor. That's going to cost money too. Seriously? Oh. Right, delete. Do I get my money back? Oh, I do. Is that, is that going to disappear? It didn't disappear. It's just an empty hut now. Um, delete. There we go, it's gone. Right, there is people coming in. Money is going up. But that is just the extra money that I got back. That is just the refund I just received. There's an inspector coming in 10 months. We have fl It's April. We have done hardly anything. This is medium difficulty. How do we make money? Come to our zoo. There is more visitors, so it might start to slow the decline. No, it's getting worse. Why are you all running? The lack of education seems to be bothering people. Right. Facilities. Education facilities. Is that an option? Media devices. Conservation Education Board. Put that here. Do I connect this to something? Yes, to animal... Oh, this can go towards anything. Oh, okay. Um, bee population... Bee population, that is an important issue. Let's have a board about bee, bee population. Is this facing... That is facing the wrong direction. I think bees are an important cause. Let, let's, let's dedicate this, this board to our bees. Um, there we go, boom. Nice. Maybe if you had a small enclosure for aardvarks. Yeah, I think either that or like one of the um, exhibit animals, like a snake or something. Just, you know, actually they seem quite expensive. Thousand dollars! Although this is probably from somebody else's zoo. Titan beetle. Red. Oh, there's so many animals. Puff adder. To be honest, I feel like we probably get just as I could probably get just as much enjoyment out of literally just virtually visiting other players' zoos, which you can do. If anyone does have a zoo who's watching or watching, you know, watching now or in the future, and you'd like me to come get some inspiration, then um, we could definitely do that. Or you want me to show off your zoos? I'll just look around it like a regular person at sort of eye level, do a tour. That could be fun. There are so many of these little animals. What is that? A tongue lizard? What is this? I, I don't. Know. Are these big or are these small? That's what I want to know. I felt this could be very educational, this series. For me, apparently our zoo's not very... They're polygonous? That means they don't... They have multiple part... No, do they... What does that mean? No, that means they have one partner, right? Is that right? Mono... No, that means they have multiple partners, right? They just make babies and then move on to the next one. I can't remember. <laughs> I think mono is just the same partner. I, I can't remember, but I think so. I have no idea. Sorry. <laughs> No dominant structure. One to two lizards can live together. They have exactly the same stats. Yeah, there you go. Blue tongue lizards apparently from Eastern Australia. And this, for some reason, this random patch here. These ones just walked into the desert and were strong enough to survive. Whereas, and then all the others just sort of didn't make it and then they couldn't get back. That's probably what happened there. Bit weird. I don't know. Maybe there's towns or something here. I don't know. There's probably a lot of things involved. Reproduction is easy. Age of sexual sterility D. 
death. There we go. That is an animal. Place a shop. You get a free vendor with it if you place the shop shell. Oh, okay, that's a good. That's a good shout. There we go. Chief. <laughs> I want to see what other corny um, food names they have as well. I'm sure they're going to get quite bad, right? Guest facilities. Chief beef. Gulpy soda. Inf I did put a gulpy soda and that didn't give me a free vendor. Looney balloons. I assume that's balloons. That's not going to feed me. Information center does seem important too. Food shop with a chief beef inside. Okay. Wait, are these the same price? Alright, let's try it with the chief beef since the uh, the gulpy soda did not give us a vendor. There we go. Are we getting a vendor? Are you going to give me a vendor? Yes, it worked. Deirdre Canfield. A one star vendor. There we go. Hopefully that will bring in some money. Hopefully that is... There's a lot of people looking at the llamas, but... Okay, I actually need to pause because we are heading to bankruptcy. If I'm not... How do we get more money? Or I'm just going to Google this on my other tab. How to make money in Planet Zoo. Do, 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 do. Tips and tricks. Here we go. Reduce your costs. Starting out a new save can be tricky. Yes. But getting filthy rich should be a... You, you'll need to invest your initial 40 grand wisely. Uh-oh. This is where it's going to tell me I should not have bought everything. However, alongside your finances, you'll need to manage your credits, animals, guests' happiness, and staff. The conservation credits are what I was calling... I think that's these things that I was calling Planet Zoo points. But yeah, they, we'll, we'll probably try not to use those unless we really need to. Um, so reduce your cost. Guests don't enjoy seeing sick... Okay, so you're going to need the basics in place. So what do we need first? I think it's saying we do need a vet, we do need a keeper, we do need the power... And we need easy to maintain animals. It says the tortoise is a guest favourite. Maybe we'll sneak in a tortoise. Staff cost. Don't hire any more staff than what's required. I mean we've only got one of each. So I think we're okay. One keeper per three enclosures. Okay well I mean. Donation boxes and vendors. Entrance fees. Keep prices low at the beginning. Okay. Listen to guest feedback. Okay, well that that is useful. How do I book? Let me bookmark this link because I'll come back to that next time. Um, there we go. Bookmark done. Fantastic. Right, but for now I think we we should be okay. Right. Um, I don't know if the zoo closes. Okay, we're actually making money for the first time. Is that because I paused or have we finally turned it around? Graph. What is that? Oh, that is our year one flow. I, actually, I don't know what this graph is showing. Um. <laughs> We'll move on. You can tell I'm a business student, right? <laughs> Can't manage a zoo. Ah. Right, we could take out a loan. I don't really want to, but it is there. Hang on. You see in this? This bank is way nicer than this one. <laughs> 20 grand with 5% interest for a long time. Or 5 grand with 10% for a short time. That makes, like, no sense. Or just take 50 grand with the same percent. I don't have this marketing campaign. I'm going to stop it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many of our people were coming. We only have 77 people. I feel like spending a thousand was not worth it. The yearly cost. Yeah, I, I didn't really. Three to ten year total. Yearly cost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's three thousand. It still seems a bit... I, I don't know, right, we've got three llamas, Kitchka, Sumac, and Kwamya, very easy to pronounce names, they've all got genuinely decent welfare, I didn't add any enrichment, so I will do that, we didn't, I'm not going to give them contraceptives, I mean, hopefully she doesn't just get absolutely forced to, like, breed loads, but, but um, you know, if I start seeing, like, hundreds of llamas running around, you can't pay it off as fast, oh, okay. Um, but what we need to do then, I, don't, I still don't know what to do. I think what we need to do is just, hang on a sec. If, if at least if we've started making money, that is a turnaround. No! <laughs> oh, 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 Okay, it's not in free fall anymore. We're having some good times, which I assume is just when customers shop at this shop, but it's something. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get a quick exhibit... 
just to uh like like it said attract people so how do i build an exhibit again barriers barriers are not for exhibits are they i think it was in it's not in habitat it's in facilities for some reason small animal exhibit three grand <laughs> okay well we might have to take out a loan but it's it's fine it's not a disaster right there we go there is our small exhibit now do i remember how to do this Exhibit animal. Okay, snakes are pretty cool. I've not got a problem with snakes. I mean, well, I say that, you know, I've not, as long as they're safe, in a safe place. But spiders, that that's a big no. But, you know, yeah, like, if a snake is, uh, tarantulas. That doesn't look too bad, to be honest. But, right, what did it say? It said tortoises were a good choice. That link that I, the top Google search for how to start in Planet Zoo said, go for the tortoise. So let's, uh. How do I search again? Species? There's no search. Filters. Any. Ah. Tortoise. Not tarantula. Damn, everything's got a different name. It's not actually called tortoise. Um. I just thought. Did I just see something called. Oh no. Giant desert hairy scorpion. Giant tiger land snail. I think I actually got to hold one of those giant snails. And some like. A university open day thing many years ago but I do remember I didn't want to hold the other thing there was two things there was I think the giant cockroach and the giant snail and I opted to hold the giant snail <laughs> Brazilian salmon pink tarantula where is there no talk can I search no what is the tortoise called it must have another name poison frog there's no tortoise there maybe I'm wrong I'll talk maybe that maybe they are outside animals in which case, let's get something cool. Um, Harry the Eastern Blue. Oh, Diamondback Torta. Terrapin. There we go. That's what they're called. We will adopt a Terrapin. Can you live with other Terrapins? Maya? I don't know. We'll, we'll get one for now. Uh, right. Play. Do, 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 do. Request exhibit animal. In breeding program. Wait, what? You're not even real yet. Send it to zoo. Boom, there you go. In you go, right. What do we have to do? How big was the snail? Was it bigger than your hand? Um, I can't remember. This was years ago, so I was probably pretty small as well. Like, my hand was not... My hands aren't like, big. So, as a little me, probably had even smaller hands. I'm talking like five, six years ago now, when I was at secondary school. Um, I think they were quite big. Like, yeah, it was a giant snail. Very weird. Right, this exhibit is apparently 1% appropriate, so we will definitely change that up for this Terrapin. Layout is not good, but we haven't researched anything. Climate, okay, well we can fix the climate, right? That's something that we can alter. Oh, it doesn't increase until I press play. Right, let's go down to one speed. That will slow the decline of our zoo. There we go. And then we need to up the humidity. Okay, that is perfect. It's going to go a bit too high, I think. Nope, that's perfect for them. That at least improves the... Okay, there we go. That actually up their welfare just enough. The layout isn't good. They haven't got much fun stuff. But there we go. Um, there we go. We have a Terrapin tortoise. I don't think it's actually in here yet. It's on its way. These people are moving at a much nicer speed now. Now, hopefully... that We're attracting a lot of visitors. So just hopefully it begins to turn around. There's not really a thing that shows me my like biggest cost, right? Average food spend is there. Average donation is there. So people are donating. Average time in zoo, two minutes. <laughs> ticket price is good. I wish this zoo had a drink shop. Zoo ticket price. Okay, you know what? I'm going to unplay with the price. I think if we just stick it down to what it was initially, more people will come in. Um, I'm just going to go back down to $3. Uh, $2? No. $3, as it said. I don't. I feel like if we open for more hours, we could get more money, but it could cost more money. I mean, being open till eleven seems a bit excessive for a zoo. Um, oh, here's the stars. Is this what people have rated us? Our zoo reputation. Oh no, our reputation's one star. But our guest happiness is really good. That's a start. Um, but there we go. We've opened two animals. Uh, it seems like our money is in the green. It's in the red again.
it is going up sometimes and the red just isn't matching it but that will be it for today guys we've, we're beginning our journey into the zoo there's no theme um, so it will just be like a mixture of whatever I want really wherever I want it you guys can obviously have some input we just had a llama so we've added some more llamas I quite like what I've done here with the mountains or the mount hills they haven't used it yet but yeah we'll try and be more creative but let's initially just get beyond this early stage get some people into our zoo enjoying it there should be a tortoise in here somewhere they're always quite hard to see I don't know where exactly it is it might not be in the actual it apparently is in there might just not be open just yet um, I don't know sometimes they're hard to see I don't see a tortoise just yet but hopefully we'll see one at some point but yeah thank you so much for tuning into the stream I hope you have enjoyed uh, Planet Zoo will probably be back on Saturday. I did put TBC in the schedule because I wasn't 100% certain. But yeah, because of how things are at the moment, it'll be back on Saturday for two hours if you want to tune in. Watch me continue to add to my franchise zoo. Um, yeah, there we go. We'll keep going. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll... S oh, thank you. I see that first last. Thanks for the stream. This is going to be fun. I hope it is. It's something very different. Um... I am still learning the game, but yeah, let's just, I'm, I'm going to try and be creative with it. I might even, if it goes horribly wrong, I'll probably go into the sandbox mode and just try to uh, just build something for fun with unlimited money. Because I don't really want to pressure myself too much if it all goes wrong. But if we can try and make a profitable zoo as well, that would be nice. But yeah, if not, I'll see if there's a way to just switch it into, into the sandbox mode so I can be a bit more calm. And just, you know, make it look cool, which should be fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.